Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. At the 2015 Clinton Health Matters Initiative, LifeScript proudly partnered with America Cooks with Chefs, where chefs and contestants competed in an 800 calorie meal challenge. Chef Mary Sue Milliken of Border Grill Restaurants and contestant Vanita Williams talked about cooking healthy Mexican food and finding homemade alternatives to kid food favorites. The thought that Mexican food is really not healthy, that's a myth, isn't it? Well, Vanita loves Mexican food, and when I first started studying Mexican cuisine and went to Mexico and drove around, you know, rural places and went to the markets, I was astounded by these giant heaps of vegetables in the marketplace. It's a real plant-based cuisine, and it's not necessarily, you know, sour cream and melted cheese and, you know, goopy. Always fried. Right, yeah. fried food. How about for kids? They're the hardest ones to feed. They can be the pickiest eaters. Have you guys figured out maybe some good things that are good for kids to do? Kids, you know, um, they're attracted to things like chicken fingers. And as a mom, you know, I always feel like I want them to eat, <laughs> so, but I just make my own chicken fingers, you know, eat them, they're not filled with sodium and, you know, a lot of processed kind of oils and things that aren't so healthy. You just take good fresh chicken, season it nicely, you know, fry it up so it has some crunch, and, you know, kids love it, but it's, it's half the calories and half of the processed kind of sodiums and fats that you just don't want to add to your diet. She taught me that I don't have to fry. I can do a lot of those things in the oven and still get sat have satisfaction in eating it. Like I said, the crunchiness of the tortilla strips, the crunchiness of the spicy pepitas. You just want that crunch sometimes, and you really don't have to have it battered and deep fried, and she taught me that.